And to everyone who is interested to listen to our report. We are Felix and Silas and together we are the team Smurfs from Germany. Up to now we have participated at the Robo Cup Regional Competition in Hannover in Spring 2020 after collecting first competition experience at the Nordmetall Robo Cup Junior Qualification Hamburg 2019. These pictures show how we tried and sometimes managed to move our real robot from A to B at the competitions and also our team work at home. We participate the category RCAP Co-Space Rescue U19 and our main challenge task is to program our robot to collect as many points. Distributed randomly over the area as possible within a period of time of six minutes. Of course, this is not as easy as it sounds as the robot has to avoid several obstacles like traps and walls along the way. We mainly investigated the following pro problems. Our robot was trapped when it hit the corner. When it hit one corner, the colors yellow and orange couldn't be distinguished. We thought it would be clever if it if the robot ignores a trap or a deposit in case it is empty to save time and searching for more points wouldn't be reasonable having already collected six points. To solve the first challenge and liberate the robot from being trapped in the corner, we used the following idea. It always had to turn right. No distinctions between orange and yellow mean that the robot didn't know whether to deposit the points or to avoid the trap. We solved the problem by choosing smaller color sections. We selected this method when the robot passes a tra trap or a deposit in case the robot hasn't collected points. The robot should simply cross the deposit without time delay to deposit points and the trap. This way we can save time as no points could get lost in a trap or be deposited anyway. In addition, we wanted the robot not to focus on collecting more points with an already filled backpack. Therefore, we told it not to do in case the number of collected points is higher than six. All above described methods seem to work to solve the investigated problems. problems. Challenge mission. The goal is to collect as many points as possible within a period of time of six minutes. These points have to be deposited in the orange area to count. The robot should avoid several obstacles like traps in which it loses all its points and walls where it could get stuck along the way. Also, the area of the game has to be defined as the robot could leave the field all the other ways. Points of three different colors can be collected and resolved in different endpoints. Also, the combination of the colors is important. All the above mentioned issues must be broken down into mini tasks. The overall mission should be solved by programming statements, which include the above tasks. Although, of course, improvements could be found. On the left side, we see our robot, which is trapped in a corner, and on the right, how the robot thought that the deposit was a trap. We prioritize the following options in the development panel. To sidestep the walls, we use the adjustment in the ultrasonic sensors. We defined the correct RGB colors, the color sensors matching the colors of the points in the key action we chose find object to be guided to the points and deposit one to store the points in the orange area the option position limited the area of the game in the advanced condition we chose loaded object is smaller than six this led to no further collections of points Loaded object is bigger than zero, led to no 
the result that the robot simply crossed the traps and the deposites without time delay. The advantage of using the above tools was to improve our scores. All programs seemed to run quite satisfying and our robot performed in the way we planned. Next time we would like to implement the feature to collect also special points. Using CoSpace Robot, we learned to find a forward-looking strategy to solve a complex issue. The virtual air club CoSpace challenge challenged our skills to present our results in English and to create a video. To summarize, we gained experience in communicating our achievements. We would like to share our experience to never give up too soon. We would like to thank you for your attention and of course all organizers for giving up the opportunity to participate in this great virtual challenge. Bye!